this is a video about a geometry sketchpad program that I made called Unit Circle. And basically what this program does is I can move this A, this point A right here around the unit circle as you can see. And it basically shows how this Y and this X value relate to the trig functions. So let me show you an example here. If you, if I move this point, it's going to have certain coordinates. And if you notice, it's always locked on the unit circle. So x and y are always going to be related based on the equation of this circle, which is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Okay, and if you notice, as I moved it, so I moved it right here, the y value is 0.86, okay, based on the coordinates up here. As you can see, it's 0.8, about 0.86 right here, which makes sense right here. And this is related to this angle right here, this angle ABC, which is at 59.2 degrees, it says right here it's related through a function called sine. So as you can see right here, sine of the measurement of angle ABC is 0.86. It matches what the Y value is. And that's the definition of the sine function. It, it, it finds the, the Y value that corresponds to the measurement of that angle in the unit circle. Okay, so that's, that's sine. X, point, right here, 0.51, represents the cosine of that, that angle measurement, which here is, is 59.2. Now I can move this to whatever I want, and you'll notice that they always match. So say I move it right here, you'll notice 0.82 and 0.57, right here the cosine 0.82 and 0.57, so it matches the x and the y. All right, the third uh, of the main trig functions that we're gonna cover is called tangent right here. And basically what tangent is, is it's the, the y value divided by the x value, and here in, in this case it's 0.69, so you can see right here the tangent is equal to 0.69, which is equal to the y over x as well. And you can see the y's and the x's and the sine and the cosine match. So what I did is I showed a sine over cosine, since y equals sine and x equals cosine, I just did those two, those two measurements divided by each other and you get 0.69. So all these three, if you notice, they're all the same because they're all basically the same, they're all related. So the y is the sine, the cosine is the x, and you can kind of experiment with this and put this at different, uh, any angle you want pretty much, uh, that it allows you to, and, and see how the, the y's and the x's are related to the trig functions. <clears throat> one thing you could do is, uh, and I ask you to do this in one of the problems, if you do it at zero degrees, so again the degree measurement is right here, right now I'm at 1.8, so if I lower it, try to get to zero, it lets me here, it's kind of hard, so you got to be a little touchy with it. So 0.1. So it, it, it's really hard to get it to exact, um, but you can see it, it still rounds it off to where it's zero, and it's one zero for the coordinate. Um, tangent is zero, uh, and it kind of all matches. So you can kind of mess around with that, put it at different angle measurements um, anywhere on the circle, and you'll, you'll notice that it matches for each one of them. So if you have any questions about this on how to use it, let me know, and I, I hope this helps. Hey!